Hey guys, my name is Nikki aka The Dragon Queen and today I'm here to discuss my 2017 book challenge. Now I am doing the Pop Sugar book challenge which has a two category option, 40 books or the events 52 books. I am doing the 52 book challenge excluding any books I read for work. So all of these books, my rule is that I have to own, borrow, or buy a very small amount. So the books that I'm buying, I only want to buy six of the 52 books on this list. Three I am borrowing from a friend, and the rest I am I already own because I need to read some of the stuff that's on my bookshelf. My friend um, recommended the book The Lightning Thief by Rick Riordan, Percy Jackson, and the Olympian series. Now, this book has been all over booktube. I know people love it. I know it's a middle grade read. I know it's going to be an easy read because the words are really big and it's not a lot of pages. So I am very excited about this one. It should be a quick read, something fun and exciting. The only problem is if I like it like everybody says I'm going to, then I'm going to have a lot more books to read for this one. So, yeah. Now, this book has been recommended to me by my best friend for years, and that is Dexter, uh, Darkly Dreaming Dexter by Jeff Lindsay. Um, this is what the TV show is based off of, and she absolutely adores this series. And again, <laughs> if I like this series, there are a lot more where that came from. So I'm a little hesitant to like the series, but it sounds up my alley. I've watched one episode of it, and I mean, it has a serial killer. What's not to like, right? Unless they're real. Now, I don't have one that fits this book, so I'm just going... Well, no, I have one that fits this book, but I already read it. So I'm just going to read a book that I want to read, which is Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe by Benjamin Allaire Sands. This book um, I have seen all over Goodreads, I'm sorry, Booktube, and so many awards, and I'm really looking forward to reading this one. I have it, I bought it, I really want to read it. I mean... I guess there's some letters in here. I don't know what it's about. I don't know anything about it. I'm excited to jump into it, though. So, here's to hope and I like it. Plus, it's a standalone. That's exciting. I don't own a lot of those. Now, I'm going to hold up the paperback book because I own it, but this is The Final Empire of Mistborn Number 1 by Brandon Sanderson. Now, I have attempted to read this and didn't get very far in the book, um, but it's my other best friend's favorite series, or one of her favorite series, so I really wanted to give it a fair shot, and I do notice that some books that I can't get into on paperback, I can get into on audiobook and love them, so I'm going to give that a shot on audiobook, plus I already own it on audiobook, so I'm not buying another copy, but yeah, hopefully I like the series, um, but if I do, again, it's another really big series to get into. <laughs> you notice a theme here? Lots of series. Never-ending series. Now, I looked this one up because um, I didn't feel like looking at every single book on my shelf to find out who was a person of color. I just uh, did Goodreads. One thing I really like about Goodreads is you are able to Google search Goodreads book with person of color and list will come up with tons of books and I went through there until I saw a book that I owned and that is Americana, a novel by Chamanda Ngozi Adichie. Um, I don't know anything about this book. This book was actually sent to me by um, a random person on the interwebs um, because we did a book exchange. So I don't know anything about this book or this author. I've never read anything by her before, but I am excited to give it a shot and get out of my comfort zone and read some new things and new genres. Plus, I didn't want it to just sit on my bookshelf since somebody spent their money to send it to me. So here's to hoping I like it and learn something by this one. I'm going to do Winter Wishes, which is an anthology. Um, I actually have a story in this one, but I haven't read the entire anthology yet. The, the donations for this book all go to the Make-A-Wish Foundation, and I think it's a really great cause. So I'm excited to read all the other stories in this book, finally. Okay. 
and for that I am reading Afterworlds by Scott Westerfield. Now I read Uglies and I pretty, I enjoyed it but I never finished the rest of the series so I'm excited for this book. Um, it looks like a daunting book because it's over 600 pages. Nope, it's just under 600 pages but the top part and it's like it looks thicker than it actually is. I don't know why they did that. I mean I like the floppy. I love this how it flops. I like that. That makes it easy to read. But I'm excited about this one. Um, I actually forgot what this one was about. I bought it because of booktube and I forgot what it was about so I did the good read search and that's what came up. So I was like, oh hey, I have that book. That's cool. I'll read that one then. So for this, I am reading Crossroads in the Dark, Volume 1. Um, published by Burning Willow Press, which is a friend, uh, owned by friends of mine who are also publishers, and they've helped me out tremendously with the Dragon's Rocket Ship. So I was sent this by Ed, thank you Ed, and I'm looking forward to reading it and getting into this so I can also buy book two and read those ones because I'm sure I'm going to love them because they have great taste. <laughs> Now this one's technically not an espionage thriller, but book one is called Etiquette and Espionage, so I'm counting it. And that is book two, Curtsies and Conspiracies by Gail Carriger. Car Car um, this is book two in the Finishing School series, and I absolutely loved book one. It was I bought it because of the cover, and then my friend M was like, you have to read this book, you will love it. And I picked it up, and she was right, like always. Thank you, Em. And um, I am so excited to get into this book, and I already know that I'm going to need to buy the rest of the series. The only thing, now the rip here, this is because I got it off of um, Book Deposit, no, uh, Book Outlet. So it was a, it was a damaged copy, so it was cheaper. I don't really care. One thing that is bothering me, though, is I own the hardback of this one and the paperback of the other one. Ah, it's driving me crazy. Now, I had a really hard time for this one, but when I was talking to my friend Alicia, she's like, you know, this book has a book on a cat on the cover, and that is One Good Dragon Deserves Another by Rachel Aaron. This is book two in the series Heart Strikers, and the series is so good. But look, there's a kitty. It's a ghost kitty. His name is Ghost. His name is Ghost. Yeah. It's adorable, I know. Hold it, hold it, in, hold it in the adorableness. And plus this cover is amazing. This author is really good, the cover is amazing, the story is fantastic. I, I have to, I have to read it, I have to. And this is another one that I already know I'm gonna buy the third one, which is on my list too, so it's inevitable, it has to happen. Now, I know that there's tons of ones, I looked it up online, and there were so many authors that have other books that are out by other, with other names like J.K. Rowling, Stephen King, blah blah blah. But again, I didn't want to buy anything, so I was just going through my list. And I found Zodiac um, by Romania Russell. Now technically she doesn't use a pseudo name, but her legal name, it, her last name is different because I believe she got married. So I'm counting it. I bought this book, I want to read it. It looks really good, and technically it fits. And that is going to be The Martian by Andy Weir. Now, I bought this book a while ago. Um, it is a sci-fi book, and I'm usually not a huge sci-fi fan, despite my Star Trek love. Um, I love Doctor Who and Star Trek. I love TV shows. Books are a lot more, are a lot more difficult um, for me to get into. So I'm going to give this one a shot and hopefully I love it. I like everybody says I will. Now I didn't own anything that I knew that had this so I tried researching it. I couldn't find anything so I'm kind of going off of a little off of this a little. I'm going to go with the program by Suzanne Young. Now it doesn't have anything about disability that I'm aware of but it does have depression in it and I think that it's going to be an interesting read. I think depression can be dis disabling. 
Um, I have depression, I am used to that, and there are days where it feels like it can be. I know it's not technically a disability, but I'm counting it. What better than Paper Towns by John Green? I read Fault in Our Stars because of booktube and I loved it so I cannot wait to get, to get into another John Green book. I, this is the only other one I own so I'm so excited to read it. He is magnificent of a writer. I didn't cry during Fault in Our Stars. I got close. I can definitely tell why people cry but I love what he did in that book so I can't wait to see what he does in this one. I'm super excited for this one. This is a short book that I have no idea what it's about, but it's called Fly on the Wall, um, How One Girl Saw Everything, and this one I don't know much about. I honestly don't know how I got it. It's very short. It has big words on it, or big uh, writing on it, so I'm looking forward to this one, and I want to get it off my shelf, see if I like it. Hopefully I do. Obviously, I don't have this one yet, but I plan on buying Peace Talks by Jim Butcher. That is the 16th book in the Dresden Files series. There isn't a scheduled publication date, but rumor has it that it will be out next year, even though he hasn't specified that yet. Worst case scenario, if it's not, I will pick a different book for this category, but I really am going, I'm going to buy that book when it comes out. So, kill two birds with one stone, right? For that, I'm going to read Patricia Briggs's Mercy Thompson series, uh, Bone Cross, which is book number four. I love this series so much, and if you don't know, um, Mercy Thompson is the main character, and she is a shifter. There are also werewolves and vampires and fae involved in this book. So, book involves mythological creatures. Fits! Plus, I know I'm going to like it. Now, this one is one of the only two rereads I'm doing this year, and that is going to be Night Circus by Aaron Morgenstern. This book is phenomenal. I absolutely adore this book to the point where it is on my favorite book shelf right, right there. That's where it goes because I love it so much. I had to make room for Book Thief, so it was right, it was right there. But I had to make room for Book Thief because Book Thief is also amazing. That's the newest one I added. But this one... This one is amazing. If you haven't read this, read it. Please, do yourself a favor, read it. Again, I'm going off of the rules here because I don't really want to read any of the books that were listed as a book about food, so I'm reading Simon vs. the Homo Sapien Agenda by Becky Albertalli. Because I can. borrowing this book from my friend and that is The Nerdist Way by Chris Hardwick. She listened to this book, absolutely adored it, bought the hardcover, or bought the paperback I mean, and I'm like, hey, can I borrow that? So I've had it for a couple of months now, so I'm going to read this and get my life together. Evidently, it's a really good read. If you haven't read it before, you should read it. I do not own this book yet, but it is um, No Good Dragon Goes Unpunished, and that is book three in the Heart Striker series um, by Rachel Aaron. Um, that book, again, I already know I'm going to love it because I love book one, and my friend said that book two and three just get better, so I cannot wait to read that series at all. going to be reading Waste Coast and Weaponry, which is book number three of the Finishing School series. Um, again, I loved book one. No, I'm going to want to read book two and three. So book two was earlier, now book three. For that, I'm going to read Dorothy Must Die by Danielle Page. Now, I've heard some bad things about the author, but I'm just going to give the book a shot. Um, Worst case scenario, I don't like it. I don't read the rest of the series. Best case scenario, I do like it. Whatever. As long, like, I'll have to do more research on what the author did to cause such a ruckus, but, 
or no, I don't think it was the author, it was the publishing company. That's what it was. Um, the publishing company did something. I have to research it to see what, but I already bought it, so I'm going to read it. Yes, and for this I'm going to try to read Lord of the Flies by William Golding. Um, I bought this book for a classic option a while ago. It's not very long, but I've heard it's kind of daunting to read, so I want to get this off my shelf and finish it so I can at least say I did, right? I also have a little woman that I need to read, which is sitting over there staring at me right now like, read me! And I'm like, but I don't want to. You're a classic, I don't want to read you right That is going to be Shel Silverstein, Where the Sidewalk Ends. I have had this book since 99. It's from my grandparents. I actually, I own two copies. Let me get them. I also own Falling Up, which I got also in 99. And I own another copy of Where the Sidewalk Ends. And as you can see, this one is falling apart. And this one I got in 96 from my other grandparent. So, yeah, this one... This one has seen better days, but I still have it because I love it. So I'm going to read one of these two um, books because I love Shel Sh Sh Silver Silverstein, Can't Talk. Um, he's one of my favorite poets and writers, and he's what got me into writing and reading to begin with, besides Nancy Drew. So, gotta, gotta read that. Now, I'm going to read The Shadow of the Wind. Um, I bought this, and this book is by Carlos Ruiz Zafon. I read this, or bought this book, I should say, for a um, book club that I never participated in. And I really wanted to finish it because I've heard good things. It actually fell in a lot of categories, and I forget where the author is from. I think he's from Brazil or Spain. Um, I mean, the book is based in Barcelona, so I would assume he's from Spain. Right? I don't know. But it looks good. I have, I've seen good reviews about it. I'm curious to what it's about, and hopefully I enjoy it. Um, kind of fudged it, but going with Mercy Thompson number 5, Silverborn. Um, it's technically not the title of the book, but it is the title of the series, so I'm going to read this one because I own it and I want to. Um, it follows the same character as book four. I'm really excited because four and five I haven't read yet. I have read one through three twice, so I really want to know what happens. I'm going to go with Everland by Wendy Spinal. Um, I don't... Okay, so it starts with London has been destroyed in a blitz of bombs and diseases, so there's a war going on. Whether or not it's focused around the war or not, I don't care. There's, there's a war. There's bombs, so I'm counting it. Plus, I wanted to read this one. I love retellings, um, so I'm really excited to get into this one. And for this one, I was going to read Gone Girl again, but I already read that one and I borrowed it from the library when I read it. So instead, I'm going to read Room by Emma Donahue. Now, I've heard good things about this book. I bought it a while ago, haven't read it, common theme, really want to get into it and see what it's about. Um, I know that it's not usually what I read. Um, I usually go towards fiction or fantasy, uh, urban fantasy, young adult, but I'm excited to give this a shot. I picked Genius, um, The Game, by Leopold Gout. Now, this book has pictures randomly spread throughout the book. Um, we bought, my friend and I bought this because it's shiny. <laughs> That's literally the only reason we picked it up, and then we're like, oh my god, what's this about? And we read it, and it sounded interesting, so we picked it up. So I figured I should read it so I can let her borrow it. 
since she bought it for me so we can both read it. So it, it's shiny and it's about games, so that should be fun. And for this, I'm going to read Kojiki, Find the Gate, Claim Your Destiny by Keith Yatutashi. Yatu, Yatuhashi. Um, the main character is from Japan. He is Japanese, so I'm going to be reading this for that. Um, it sounds interesting. Um, again, this is another one that my friend and I both wanted to read, so I'm going to read it so she can borrow it, and then she can read it, and then we can discuss, because we enjoy doing that, actually, a lot. <laughs> So I'm going to read Daughter of Smoke and Bones by Lonnie Taylor. Um, the main cover basically, or the description basically said, like, the main character was unique, she had blue hair, da 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 da, sounds interesting, I'm gonna read it. We'll find out. In the Woods by Tana French. Now technically this isn't time periods, it's um, her, the main character's childhood and then their adulthood, so it's not like a drastic difference, but this book sounds interesting. I've heard good things about it on booktube lately since I decided to pick it up, and um, it's I read when I read the synopsis and I bought it, it sounded interesting. It's a little thrillery, a little murdery, a little fun. Now, I could not find anything for this one. Um, I was going to read Wednesday Wars. I didn't know much about it. That's just the first one I picked. But instead of buying a new book, I was like, you have tons of books you want to read, so I'm going to read Secondhand Souls by Christopher Moore, which is book two of the Dirty Job series. A Dirty Job was hilarious. Christopher Moore is hilarious. This book is bound to be hilarious. I mean, look at that cover. It's bright pink, first off. And it's a reaper riding a flaming freaking rocking horse. Just look look at it. I, I, I don't need to explain. I'm borrowing this book from my friend, and that is The Shining by Stephen King. It is one of her favorite books. She just finished re or reading it, and she loved the movie. She just read the book. She absolutely loves the book. She wants me to get into the Stephen King bandwagon, so I'm going to give that one a shot. For this one, I'm going with Heart Shaped Box by Joe Hill. I have never read Joe Hill, but I admire him because he became famous based off his own writing, not because of who his father was. He went under Joe Hill so that people wouldn't know he was related to Stephen King, and people picked up his books and they loved it, and he has an amazing writing style, and per my friend, some of his writing style is better than Stephen King's at points, mostly because it, it's very different, it's hard to compare the two, evidently, um, but it's definitely interesting. We have watched Horns, the movie, because she read the book, so we watched the movie, and the movie was very interesting. So I'm excited to read Heart Shaped Box, which she owns, so I'm going to borrow that from her. Now for this one, uh, Wander by R.J. Policio is becoming a movie evidently in 2017 and I'm really interested in this one. It sounds fantastic. I keep seeing it. I'm really curious about what more about it so I do plan on buying that book instead of just reading whatever. Um, I don't own any books right now I believe that are going to become movies or TV shows or anything like that so I mean technically I could have if I did it this year because Library of Soul or um Miss Peregrine's Home for Procure Children was a movie this year, which I still haven't seen because I'm hesitant to see it, but I'm excited to pick that one up. Now, I was going to pick up a book that was based off of New Year's, but instead I decided to go with a different book that I already owned, and that was Witchlanders by Lena Co Coakley. I don't know anything about this book. I received it in a monthly book, a monthly book buying thing where you get a box and this was inside. So I figured, you know what, why not? It has a winter theme. It looks like, 
see the snow. So why not read it? Why not find out more about it? Um, it sounds interesting from what I read as a synopsis, and hopefully I'm not wrong. To read A Whole New World, A Twisted Tale by Liz Braswell. Again, like I said with Everland, I love retellings so much. And this is book one. I really want to get book two and three as well. Um, book two follows Sleeping Beauty, and book three follows... Be um, Beauty and the Beast, so I really would love to get all three of them, but for now I own this one and I'm excited about this one because it's from the perspective, what if Jafar found the lamp instead of Aladdin? So I'm excited to dive into this one. It might be one of the first ones I read because I really want to read it. I am taking a trip in April, so I do plan on buying a book then. I'm not sure what I'll buy yet. I might buy book two of this series, but we will see if it's available in paperback. Since I got this one in paperback, I would like to buy the other one in paperback, but right now both two and three are only in hardcover, so we'll see. Remember how I said I got two copies of Splintered? Well, I sent one of those two copies to my friend Shannon, and she is an author that I love. She wrote this one. If I can get it out. She wrote this book, Immortal Slumber, S.L. Perrine. You should read it. You should read all the books. Read all of them. Anyway, so she is an author I love. She recommended this book after I sent it to her because she read it first. So I'm going to finally pick it up and read it. I'm going to read to, uh, Stars Above by Marissa Meyer. Now this book, I don't know if it was a book bestseller, but I know the rest of the series was, so I'm assuming it was. But I have this book. I read the other five and they are on my bookshelf. These, this is my favorites. So it's on my favorites bookshelf, and I plan to finish this one so I can add this to my favorites bookshelf. Didn't have any, so I'm going to go with The Magicians um, by Lev Grossman. I re bought this book before I realized it was a TV show, then I watched the TV show and fell in love with some of the episodes that I watched, so now I really want to read the book. Didn't read it beforehand. Don't know if this really fits. I might actually need to switch this one with In the Woods, but that is Time Traveler's Wife by Audrey Niffenegger. Niffinger? Niffinger? How do you say that? But anyway, um, I've heard good things about this book. Um, one of the books that were recommended for this one was book two of the series, and I realized I had book one, so I might as well read this one first. Now this one, uh, the book that I'm reading for this is Kite Runner by Khalid Hossein, um, Hosseini, and evidently this fits in multiple categories, so I'm excited to get into this and see what it's about, um, especially for this one. Now I've heard of this genre before, I'm pretty sure it's just romance, I'm not really sure. I don't know. But this book is one of my friend's favorite books, so she sent it to me after I sent her Splintered, which was Sarah's Key by Tatiana de Rosne. I've never read it, don't know what it's about, never heard of the author, don't usually read this genre, so I'm going to give it a shot. Now this will probably fit, but I don't know enough about it to know, but that is The Alchemist by Michael Scott, The Secret of the Immortal Nicholas Flannel. Flannel. So I'm sure that they're eccentric, but I'm not sure, so we'll find out. But if it doesn't fit, who cares? I'm going to read it anyway. I'm going to attempt to read IQ84, which is over 1,100 pages. Yeah. 1,155 pages. 
This is a beast and the font is tiny. So this is going to be the most challenging one this year for sure. from a used bookstore and that is Smoke Thief by Shauna Abe. I bought the first three books of this because the third book was called Dragon Queen. Yeah. So I'm going to read this one, see if hopefully I like it so I can get to the third one. Another one that I am just going to wing it and go with I'll Give You the Sun by Jandy Nelson. Um, I have owned this book for a while, I want to read it, so I'm going to instead of buying another book. And that is going to be Speak by Lori Hale Hulse Anderson. Um, I forget what this book is about, but I was recommended it online, and I am looking forward to reading it. This is another one that I accidentally bought two copies of, and I donated one to the library or to a friend. I don't remember, but plus it's shiny. Look at that. Shiny! I'm going to be reading Crane by Stacy. Rorick. Now I own Crane and Raven, which is book two in the series, because it was on sale. Um, it's been on my ebook or my phone for a while, and I just have yet to pick it up. So I'm looking forward to picking that book up and seeing what all the craziness is about, because it has a lot of good ratings and a lot of good stars, or a lot of good ratings and a lot of reviews. So. Um, those are the 52 books that I'm going to attempt to read next year. Hopefully I can do it. That's one book a week, not counting the books uh, to read for TDR Publishing. The reason I was looking down, by the way, is because I have it all in my bullet journal. So I was reading off of that. But yeah, um, let me know if you're going to read any of these books next year, or if you've read any of them before and you liked them, didn't like them, what you thought about them. Let me know, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!